everyone welcome back to my channel so let's talk about something really really interesting I mean obviously we have been talking about this particular topic which is GATT 2020 this time it's really confusing patterns you don't know about how the exam is going to be we are not sure about how many number of questions will be there uh, how what is what what is going to be the difficulty and how much pressure there will be at the time of examination because 100 questions it is actually it is predicted that there are going to be 100 questions but uh, the time is 120 minutes so right so you this is something that one of the uh, i again i tell this that this is most discussed cat 2020 and most of the people say that this is going to be the easiest cat uh, it has ever been because uh, due to the pandemic and many many effects are there that cat fact uh, management is more supposed to take the difficulty level a little bit down okay so last video we discussed about some fast act strategy to what you should be doing in the last four uh, i mean four or five weeks almost uh, let's say just two two months approximately what you should what your strategy should be so this is not something that video is not something like you can score uh, you know for sure you'll be getting 99 percent in just two months or something no uh, that is not an actual uh, scenario most of the times but many many experts are there on the youtube for sure they claim to uh, you know have this even if you follow so many their strategies uh, it's totally up to you you know it's totally up to you how much you know about the basics it's one month or the one year doesn't matter if you if you if you study for one year the same uh, mentality and same methods without getting mentored by anyone or without preparing properly you are not even going to cross 90 percent time and there are so many really brilliant students are there who did not even cross 90 percentile it's just about all about getting feedbacks from experts as i mean authentic experts and then uh, preparing your strategies okay so i mean uh, you have to do that this year you don't know about the pattern right so this is a really unpredicted cat examination uh this year is going to be so the more you get feedback from the mentors the more you talk to the actual cat crackers actual means last year cat crackers not those who cracked in 2010 or 2012 and uh, still they are trying to be the experts of cat examination no every year cat examination changes uh, the mentality of the students mentality of the uh, those who are going to those who are setting the paper is changing so you have to look for the very decent students maybe go talk to the toppers of 2019 or maybe to those who are uh, actually in the field of i mean uh, properly they are giving examination every year okay a mentor should also give an examination along with the students and share their percentile and that is what i say authenticity most of the teachers on youtube have this like uh, they don't themselves appear for cat examination but they they always teach their students to do that and do this uh, you know that that ends up being uh, the, most of the time it doesn't work and that's why uh, real good stupid teachers are there such as an academy time ims these are these are the career career launcher these type of people their teachers are supposed to appear for the examination every year and that according to that they have to change their mentality so before we move ahead let me talk uh, talk about this a uh, similar kind of initiative that has been started by an academy with real authentic mentors okay it is going to start from 14th of october let's see what it is here it is. so an academy has come up with this particular initiative on 11th of October. I'm going to put a link in the description below for the same initiative, okay? You can just go there and enroll. Before that, read the instructions, read what they are actually offering. So let me just read out for you. Uh, this is a one day event packed with workshops and sessions along with a test and its analysis. Okay, so this is a one day workshop, but this one day workshop is on 11th of October. There will be five sessions from the experts on each and every section and how you should go for it especially in 2020 cat 2020 and there will be three workshops means there will be activities as well right you will be involved in this particular workshops and you will learn something this is not just a, a lecture someone is throwing this is a, going to be a live session this is a really good initiative and uh, the time will be from nine o'clock in the morning to till the nine o'clock in the evening okay so there will be breaks obviously you will not be exhausted for sure uh, your time will be given to uh, you know to freshen up and everything so don't worry about that after that there will be a test okay at nine o'clock there will be a test just to check how good you have understood everything okay so there will be a test at nine o'clock 
So moving ahead uh, from the Earn Academy, and like like you must you you all understood what it is going to happen, right? So now, uh, what should be your take on it? Let let me be the basics of the fast act strategy of uh, let me you know tell you the basics of fast act strategy. Most of it, it's a mock. Okay. Uh, also, second thing, you don't need to score if you have started. You if you have just started the uh, study. You don't need to score 100 percentage or 90 percentage to get 90 percentile. Okay, this is a difference, very big difference. If you are new to CAT examination, understand this. Understand the pattern. How many marks are going to score? Give you the score of this this percentile. So that is something really important. Now, if we see the pattern of the last maybe four or five years, take the recent trend only. Okay, because number of uh, applicants are changing this year. Uh, from 2015, this was the lowest uh, number of participants that they're appearing for the CAT examination, which is good actually, because uh, the competition is this, okay? You will be getting more percentile. So that is a good thing. You should take the leverage of it. If you haven't started preparing, just attend an academy or uh, that that workshop, and then see if you, if it makes your mind, if it, it changes your mind to, uh, you know, appear for CAT examination. If you, you'll be having 45 days and proper plan of 45 days, which will you can leverage from an academy, and then you can you know go for it. So uh, I was saying like, take the pattern of four to five years. How how many marks have given students? How many percentile? So the basic trend is if you score around 35 percentage, percentage. I'm talking about percentage. That is 35 percentage of the total marks. You somewhere around you will score more than 85 to 90 percentile. Okay, so that is a good thing. So, uh, do you really think that the talkers who are 99 plus percentile, they actually uh, attempt all the questions? No, that's not the real uh, thing. Given that the question paper is of three hours and 100 questions are there. Uh, so, till now, they used to, uh, there used to be this trend that 80, 80 questions they attempt. Out of that, 60 to 65 questions are correct, and then they score somewhere around 98 to 90, 99 plus percentiles. So this is the strain and if you want to score 90 or 90, 85 plus percentile you just need to score around 35 percent that's that's not a big deal if you try to give mocks like i always say that try to give three mocks per week if you have just started studying because that is very important uh understand what you know and what you don't know about the examination what areas are you have you are weak into so so see there is one uh, more important thing nobody i mean most of the people don't really talk about Every topic has a base rate. Okay, so base rate in a question is that how many? What is the probability of the other that topic to be repeated with the same number of questions or maybe more? So more the base rate, it's good. So try to find out, try to analyze the last ten years of question papers. Try to get the base rate of every topic. Say so suppose there are around twenty-five to thirty topics in quad section. Try to get the base rate. And if you are just started studying. Focus on the base rates, higher base rates. Okay, those topics with higher base rates, try to focus on them because uh, you know lower base rate doesn't doesn't make sense. You you'll end up uh, losing your time and uh, you will be getting a lot of food from it, right? So try to hit the more base rate topics. Same goes for RC and uh, parajumbles are really important because parajumble RC is something that takes a lot of uh, score uh, in the VRC section. So that is very important. Next thing, quant, uh, sorry, DILR section, you need to focus on every day at least. Try to solve two to three, if you, two to three uh, sets of each DIR and LR every day. So that will take around three hours for you to say, uh, to, you know, go for six sets. Uh, and you should do that because if you are just started studying, because that is, you need, need, you need more practice. And that is really important. If you are working, that's hard. I know you can just, Cut down your uh, practices proportionately, but if you are a full-time aspirant, cat aspirant, you must do this. So uh, most of the students ask how many time I should put into this. Uh, time is not the factor. I have seen students who had uh, studied for around 12 hours a day, full-time aspirants, and still they didn't get it. Okay, so because the feedback and mentors mentorship and the the analysis of what you have solved and what you have studied, they always have missed up, missed it. So give one to two hours of exploring the new questions, then one to two hours per section to analyze what you have just studied, what, how you have solved, what is the uh, best strategy to solve it, how other students solve it, 
how you can optimize the speed. Is it really important for you to use the calculator or is there any trick or is there any shortcut? So that is something you, you have to put your thought in, thoughts into it and your time into it. And then only you can, you know, get through this particular uh, DLR section because DLR section is a make or break section, okay? If you if you lose one set, there are going to be four questions or five questions or approximately. You will lose all the questions. Okay, you have to be very careful whenever you are going to solve the, uh, you know, any puzzle or any data interpretation question because accuracy matters the most in the ILR, not for the others. Because you, you get the calculations wrong in the first thing itself, you are going to answer the rest of the six questions accordingly and that is going to end up really bad. Uh, so that's my thing and you should, uh, if you are a full-time aspirant, try to give around three hours per uh, section for the next whatever days are remaining and you should do that and definitely you'll score trust me that's a realistic goal you will score 85 percentile if you just do uh do it properly talk to the mentors talk to the, uh, get the feedbacks get the analysis and it will work for you so this is that is all for today uh we'll definitely come up with some more videos uh i've been talking to some uh cat toppers or maybe not cat toppers those who scored 95 percentile just in last two months I'm talking to the students and I'm definitely going to bring them on the video and uh, we'll, we'll see what they suggest you to do, what they what worked for them. They are really into good colleges right now and what worked for them is very important. And this year, um, I am Bangalore, so there's a new update, uh, or I would say new trend from I am uh, Bangalore that uh, colleges are giving more importance to the profile. Okay, So try to build your profile very nicely to a particular niche which is very important and now I am Bangalore is going to do that most of the other uh, colleges are going to do the same so just focus on that so if you have any questions or doubts or anything that any topic that you want us to cover just mention down in the comment box below we'll definitely cover that and thank you so much for, for watching just subscribe and click the link, like button thank you so much